And what you see here is everything that a soldier would carry in the Revolutionary War. You've got his personal accoutrements and one, one day of daily rations. So you'd have a pound of meat, usually salt beef, you'd get a pound of that, or it would be a half pound of either salted pork or salted fish, a pound of bread, in this case, hardtack. Barely edible, but you'd end up, you wouldn't be eating this straight up. You would end up either soaking it, cooking it in your um, stew, or if you could fry it, if you had something to fry it, you'd break it up and fry it. This is what you would cook all of your meals in, is camp kettle. This would be issued for one to every six men. So one ten held six, six men in it, and they would either You'd have two on duty at the time and four sleeping. But they'd be issued one camp kettle. So you'd have all of that together, and they would end up sharing and cooking all their meals together. You've got a little bit of rice. They were issued a half, either a half a pint of rice per week or a pint of um, Indian cornmeal. So in this area, my guess would be it's more cornmeal than rice because this is coming from somewhere else where cornmeal is here. You have three pints of either beans or peas, in this case it's beans, issued per week. So this is that bowl is what? One daily ration. Yeah, I haven't looked lately. Pint of milk. You're probably not drinking, using this as actually drinking milk, you're turning it into something else. Butter, cheese, things like that. Something that's going to keep better than just that. Most important, either a quart of spruce beer or cider. That was a daily issued ration um, for the men. And then you'd also be issued, as part of that, three pounds of candles. These are for the soldiers who are on duty at night. And then you either get 24 pounds of soft soap or 8 pounds of hard soap. Per 100 men per week. Not doing a lot of washing. Same thing with the candles. You're issued 3 pounds of candles per 100 men. Then we carry all of this in their haversack. Which they would carry over them. His shoulder like this. So they would put all their food rations in here. And they would carry all that with them. On the march, you could be issued three days worth of rations at a time, a day's worth of rations, depending on what you're doing. Can you do the 10? Then you would turn around, they would have the fire lock with them. If you were an NCO or an officer, you would carry a sword. And then you would have your canteen, cartridge box, in this case, it's got 30 yeah. cartridges in there. Anybody there? Uh, there was only 10 of us. So you would have that. Yes, that was a good I mean, one. I to nice one. Bayonet. You have a blanket oh, roll yeah. that you could either attach to your knapsack or carry on a thump line like this. You could also use this to roll. You, if you didn't have a knapsack or you wanted to travel even wider, you could roll all your personal belongings and just carry this. Swing that over your shoulder with your haversack. You would put all your personal belongings in your knapsack, and that is literally just a backpack that you would wear. And in that, you would have your personal belongings. This is not a weapon, it is a tool. Everybody, you know, when you see the movies and they're going after somebody with a tomahawk or something. Do they issue them? Yes. If you didn't have a battle, if you didn't have a bayonet. That's a busy, busy. Um, bayonet is primary soldier's tool. This is your tool for camp. You would try to make sure that one mess, every six men had at least two of these. And that's to do camp work, split your wood, do all of that. And you have various personal items. You know, I've got some cards and some dice in here. Pipe for tobacco, you could buy that at a um, sutler or, some, or if you were in a town, you could get some there. That's my wallet and I've got both. Colonial money in there, and more spendable British coins. You know they would want mainly settlers and 
interesting tradesmen, things like that, that aren't traveling with the army, if you're in a town or something like that, they want actual like spendable you points. They don't one, want the, one that you think is your size. Uh, a content uh, script. That was the biggest uh, problem. It's Washington just an had interesting China thing, and women would use them too. Money. Children, women. The biggest things the French brought with them was loads of money to help fund them. Yeah, so be careful. And you'd also carry, you would not carry a ton. You'd have extra clothing, extra stockings, camp cap. Cap, which is just basically, if you're not wearing your hat, you can put this on when you're because that's going around your neck. Because, because the tradi it's tradition you cover your head. You know, you're not wearing yeah. this. So this does not hold the sun yeah. off. So it doesn't quite fit your shoulders. It's more because yeah. the tradition is So you want it a little bit bigger because that's, that's going to balance it and be easier to keep. So that won't be too small. Then personal items, you know, I have a pocket knife, a bit more of a utility knife. You know, but try the, the like one in... Uh, front there extra flints for my musket. It's that is heavy, a but I think musket. it fits you. I have a tool for helping it disassemble. Other way. Other way. That way. It you can whisk <laughs> that I would wear on me if I'm in battle. Yep. That'll help me to yep. clean my musket and if I've got, there you um, go. following everything. So when it cuts this up, is a, right, this really. so when some it of the things that right. soldiers would carry. Well, that's carry. what it's for. Um, now you're going to get some you know, milk or water. It varies a lot between man-to-man yeah, man, what they would carry with, with them. Um, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> what Elzer Tilden took with him yep. to um, yeah. Fort Ticonderoga. He had <laughs> a bunch of stuff, but he's trading and bartering as he goes. Um, other soldiers. Well, think of that. Now you have stays on. Minimal clothing, extra clothing. Plus the uniform that they're wearing, and, and that's that it. Water. Because they're trying to keep it light. They um, Washington hard. also they did take in uh, yeah, later on in the war, started all. making provisions <laughs> to keep the baggage train and the soldiers' wear. Wow. So they could do everything. Oh, hi. What would they do if it rains? Huh? Do they have rain wear at all if it rained? I'll cook. You may have a cloak. <laughs> I'll cook. But well, you would. I mean, would. Over you. you'd be cooking. I mean, right. wool, the nice thing about wool, <coughs> it does not keep water. So if it gets wet, it's going to dry pretty quick. Mm. Um, and the other thing you would have here so I guess what is your 18th is century match. Went and steel. And you would strike so that fire, and you use that to start the fire. And, then you <laughs> and you would carry your flint and steel in here and you'd have a little bit extra, so, like no, um, kindling or something like that, that you'd have as your basic fire starter. You know, but here, they, they tried to keep it as light as possible because you're putting all this stuff on you and carrying it. You know, you're walking everywhere. Um, you know, if you're going, if you're one of the Massachusetts men and you're going to garrison Fort Ticonderoga for six months, um, you are walking to Ticonderoga for the large part. I mean, there's no um, east to west river that you can get a barge on or anything like that. It's not until you hit New York that you can, you know, go up and get on the lakes and things like that. So you're walking out there. So you're trying to keep it light. Try to keep everything minimal. I mean, your bowl and your um, spoon wouldn't be much more than that. A cup. That's really what you have. You know, there's not a lot more else. You know, again, the camp kettle. This is all your own cooking. You know, they. they you may have bag um, in the baggage train heavier stuff like that. They may issue a fry pan instead of a camp kettle, but you know, you don't. You don't want to be too weighed down with everything. So that's what they would carry.